What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to your daily dose of Brood War. Here we've got Sonk versus Soul Key. I haven't seen a Soul Key rep for a long time, so really excited to check this one out. Sock, of course, we've had him on the channel a whole bunch lately. He's been putting out some brilliant games on the ladder, and this should be no different. This is a series here. I won't mention how many games, but we're going to jump into this one. We've got Things going pretty well so far lately on stream today. We, I think, overcame, I don't want to jinx it, but we kind of overcame some of our anxiety when it comes to laddering. We were really chilled out, I think, playing some good games. And uh, that's, that's, I think, what's really been holding me back lately is just the difficulty of relaxing in tense situations and not letting these things get to me. Um, it's a really hard sell. It's very, very difficult to uh, just chill out, to take a breath when things are going wrong in a game of Brood War, but we're slowly getting there, guys. We're slowly putting the pieces together. It's that much harder when people are watching you as well, I gotta say. Looks like a nine hatch is gonna come here from Soul Key gonna come down. And this is not a build that I usually go with, especially not um, against Terran, but it is very good against things like eight racks, really aggressive builds. You're gonna have way more lings than you usually would with something like a 12 hatch. And it's not perfectly efficient with the minerals um, and the, the larva here, but it's okay. It's gonna give you a lot of larva. And if you see that they're not doing anything aggressive, you can just pop all drones and be pretty decent in terms of your economy. I haven't worked out how this transitions into a 2.5 hatch or anything like that, but I think it could be pretty good here. We'll see. He went ahead and dropped his gas pretty darn quick after that spawning pool, so... As you can see, one Marine moving across. I think we'll just see one set of lings, just one pair in order to push this away. Okay, see, he's the second Marine moving out. So that's some good information. Usually I'll have my Overlord here and then I can't really see where they're moving out. So I really like the position here on the Overlord uh, for Soul Key. It definitely makes sense. It's a, little, it's, it's a little bit scary though to send it over this direction because you just don't know... Um, if they if it's gonna end up getting caught or not so four links gonna be thrown out here we will have three Marines on this high ground here pretty soon great blocking oh man that's really good blocking from sock he might lose the second marine it's getting kind of close another great block there oh god wow this this is really not going well for sulky so far he built four links and he killed one marine and now sock can continue to put the pressure on. This is looking a little bit scary, but this is the important part, is not to panic in these moments right now. You're gonna pop out just one pair of Ling Sulky. Oh my God. Maybe not enough panic here for Sulky. Underdoing it with Lings is actually worse than overdoing it with Lings. Because now he's probably gonna lose a bunch of drones. He's still making drones, look at him. Still making drones here. He's banking on the fact that he thinks that Sock will back off with speed coming in really soon here. Oh, he sees the two drones. He's gonna get one for free. Oh man, four Marines is really scary now. He's gonna bail out with the drones. And now he's gonna fully react here. We've got three more sets of links. A fourth set gonna come down. Spire is on the way here. We're gonna build a bunker in behind the mineral patches. This has gone really, really bad now for Sulky. Maybe he can run in here with those three links and kill a couple of Marines though. Let's see if he can get it done. Running straight up in here. Gonna jump on top of that Marine with the speed. Gets one Marine, gets a second Marine. Okay, not too bad. He's just gonna send the Ling straight across the map here. A lot of SCVs being thrown in the natural, but this will, just a medic. Oh, just the medics are popping out. This is so bad right now. This is so bad for, uh, for Sock. Sock gonna lose a bunch of SCVs right now. He's just gonna target those down. Oh, the medic here making it so difficult. I didn't really think about the medic being able to heal up the SCVs, but there you have it. Healing up those SCVs, making it a really, a real pain here for Sulky, and he's not able to clear this right now. This is a really 
savage situation here. And oh man, this is about to go down. He stims up, gets in the bunker, stims up, and he will kill the hatchery. I think this is just about it for Soul Key. Of course, sending in the Lings means that the Marines will target the Lings rather than the hat, but unfortunately, the hatchery will still go down, and a lot of Lings were lost during that as well. Sitting back at home, feeling very nice, feeling very, very proud of himself right now, I think. Uh, Sock. I'm gonna get a bunker, and a lot of turrets are gonna follow this. A lot of turrets. We can see Sock throw down three turrets right now in his natural, I would say. Uh, probably an appropriate response right now because there's just nothing out here for Soul Key. He's going to be trying to retake his natural. And if he doesn't get damage with these mutas, it's just a shoe in victory for Sock, I think. Firebat in the bunker. <laughs> kind of a useless firebat there. I'm going to hide it in the bunker for now. Um, not enough turrets, man. Why are we not building more turrets? We should be really turreting up hard. I'm gonna lose a marine really quickly. Diving on top of those marines gets one, two, and three go down very quickly afterwards. Can start to pick off some SCVs. There are quite a few turrets going up right now. Four turrets here in the main, three at the barracks. He's gonna go after the gas right now. Just kill some SCVs here. Only six mutas, so he can't even one shot uh, SCVs right now. So. It is a dire situation. Here comes the seventh meta. Now he can start to one-shot SCVs. This is uh, this is all that Sulky has right now. He's gonna bank everything on getting damage here. I mean, Sox should be able to hold this off no problem. In any other situation, you know, we would see a, a, an attack like this with a much stronger follow-up from uh, from Sulky, but he really has no follow-up from this position. He is just going to GG out of this game. Yeah, unfortunate. Unfortunate. You hate to see it. Soul Key going down like that, but it's a little bit cathartic for sure. I've died to a place like that plenty of times. Nothing like cheesy here from Sock at all. It's just rallies of Marines coming across the map and a little bit of a commitment with those three, four Marines and some very strong micro. Uh versus the scv let's take a look at it one more time the micro here sending this over to this spot is so scary guys it really is you never want to lose your first overlord but he takes that risk he's able to see how many marines are going out here which is huge big information you really want to know uh how many marines are coming but he just didn't react quite strongly enough you can see just one, two lings at a time. And this this fight right here was it. The fight right there. Where the Marines were microed so beautifully. Here, let's we'll slow it down for a second. Look at that SCV blocking. Look at that SCV still blocking these lings from getting on top and dealing damage during the fight. And watch, he backs up. He backs up, he backs up. Right at this moment, right here, the SCV gets into position, he turns. The SCV gets some damage. It blocks. This Ling is stuck behind. He's not going to get any damage done. Decides to back off. This was perfectly done here by Sock. Unfortunately, Solki being a little bit too aggressive with those first few Lings. If you keep those Lings alive here, just the three, four Lings there, and you know, you just in and out, checking how many Marines are there and keep watching. I think he has to back off because you could be popping, you know, four, six slings behind this and kill that, or just kill this off. But, you know, he thought that I killed, I killed one Marine, one Marine's low. I just need one more set of ling, whereas he really should have been producing at least two more. This is such a delicate balance here. I love to hear Protoss players complain about how difficult it is to hold off the Hydralis Buster, to see that the Hydralis Bust is going when... Uh, TVZ is like this, where you can literally die at any second in the game here as a Zerg player. And if you're not completely on top of what's going on, uh, if you build too many Lings, you're just light years behind. If you build not enough, you just die. And it's just the way that the matchup is. It's super finicky, very, very hard to master. And I'm glad we got to see this game, but we're going to jump into game number two. Okay, game number two here. 
as I take away the UI. We've got Sock versus Sulky. I don't usually like to see brown. Might change it. Yeah, that's probably better. Blue versus red. Do you like the red Zerg? I know some of you guys out there are fans. Seen it in the comments. I've seen it in my live streams. People like the red Zerg. It is very pleasing on the eyes, I'll say. But here in this game, are we are we gonna see more pressure out of Sock? And if so, is Sulky gonna be able to walk that tightrope? He went nine hatch last game, which gives you a lot of options with in terms of like overwhelming with lings. Because you have so much more larvae, you can really pump out a lot of lings early and deal with things like eight racks and you know one barracks pressure. Seems like he just didn't have it in him though, this that game. So oh, I hope that he's gonna figure it out here. I'm curious. I guess we're not gonna see the nine hatch. I thought we might see it a second time, but he's gonna mix it up here. Going for an overlord, and there's the wall in. Here for Sock. Probably put another supply depot right there, but it's one of those wall ins where the Marine's gonna pop on the outside, so it can be a little bit scary if there's like a Ling all in coming. Your Marine's popping on the wrong side, just like in the last game. We'll see if it comes into play here in game number two. There's the 12 hatch right into a pool, and we're gonna watch. See when this gas gets taken right away. Okay, 10 gas. This is uh, a build that I'm very familiar with. I do this a lot on ladder. I've been kind of copying other people, other players, um, specifically Larva. I've been watching a lot of his replays and trying to uh, emulate his style with the uh, 12 hatch, but this requires you to be very, very good with your scouting and understanding of what is coming from the Terran player. And you can see one Marine is going to be on the way here. Now, we're going to pop one set of Lings. And we're going to use those to scout and see how many more Lings we actually need to produce here. He's saving... Actually, wait a second. Okay, he's going to make a bunch of Lings. Usually with this build, you go to 14 drones. And then you go ahead and build... Uh, links after that. So this game, uh, he doesn't want any of that. He doesn't want any of that action from last game. Um, he wants to try and catch Sock here, but Sock a little bit too smart. He sees the eggs. So he's just going to pull all the way back. So this is like a big overreaction now we're seeing from Sock. So, or from Soul Key, excuse me. So last game, underreaction. This game, overreaction. Both of them are bad, but the overreaction is not quite as bad because you're not just going to die, like I said. It's still bad having these lings right now when you really don't need them. And there's a wall back at home. You can't really do anything to the Terran player. But it's not as bad as not having enough lings and just, yeah, like I said, straight up dying. Or like we saw in the last game, just getting completely edged out. We've got more drones coming up now, but now it's going to be hard to afford the third hatch here. I'm not sure if he's actually going to throw it down. It looks like he won't. Usually what you'll do is you'll throw down the third hatch at four minutes and then the spire before 415. But instead he's going to throw down the spire a little bit quicker and just go for a two hatch play. And with the two hatch here, he's going to throw, you know, send out a drone right away because we will have pretty good mining income gonna have pretty good drone saturation here at the natural here soon so sending out one drone probably to the bottom left try and grab that base looks like the scv gonna spot that a lot of information here for from that scv scout but now just a few marines starting to move out here he's gonna get ready to potentially set up for a counter attack but it looks like a two racks play no it's not a two racks play okay just one racks here and did he, yeah, he went plus one very, very fast. So let's take a look at the front. All we see is one medic and we've got six Marines. Six Marines, one medic into three racks. Yeah, this is pretty strong play. I wonder if he's gonna throw it on a fourth. Four racks is 
quite a commitment. He is going to go into four Rax play. So this is interesting from Sock. This is a style that I, I personally really hate. I struggle very hard against a style like this because the amount of Marines that you're going to be able to field is kind of insane. There's so many Marines that can come out here. It's not quite as scary as the five racks, but that's really fallen out of style here because it's much better right now to get four racks and then go into a faster factory. You really want to be able to get on top of the Zerg player if they're going to be transitioning into something like, for example, Crazy Zerg. If they're going to go Crazy Zerg. You want to have a timing attack with some tanks that can actually deal damage to them before, you know, plus two is done and all that stuff. So... He's going to go ahead into a factory here with four racks. That's going to give him a lot of Marines to work with. A lot of pressure. And look at that. Armor going to be coming out here. We're going to see a Guardian build. Every time I see armor, I think Guardian build, but I'm not 100% sure. He might just battle here. We're, we've actually taken the natural in bottom left, which has been really popular recently. A lot of Zerg players are taking the natural uh for a third base rather than the main so this is uh this is gonna be an interesting game here guys i can't wait to see what sulky's gonna do from this spot he's actually harassing the front few supply depots very very much and he's picking off quite a few of these marines now we didn't build a turret here at the front sock is planning to fight this he does not want to abandon this position he wants to fight and try to keep control of that area with just pure marines he's doing a pretty good job of it He's managed to save that supply depot, which is critical right now. He's just pumping only Marines and SCVs, making some, uh, you know, supply depots back behind this, and a factory is going to be on the way. So he's doing his best right now. Oh, a medic pick off. Very nice here for Soul Key. Hardly taking any damage for that as well. Going to swing back in one more time. Does lose a Mutalisk, but... He's still producing Mutalis behind this. He's not making a transition attempt just yet. Looks like we're going to be diving in here on top of some of these turrets. He's going to pick them off, but without plus one, you can't do it in two shots. You need three for sure. I don't see any tech buildings here just yet. So pure meta, pure, pure Muta, pure Muta right now from Sulky, fighting only the Marines here, then getting his third gas online. There's the transition. Queen's Nest and Hydra Den thrown down immediately here at that third base once that's been set up with the third gas he starts those two buildings interesting so are we gonna go i don't think we go into uh guardian from here this is too late for guardian yeah i think we're gonna go into a normal game from here surprisingly with the uh armor build armor build into a normal game there's the lurker aspect so yeah, it is just going to be a completely standard play here from Sulky. Um, Sock is going to have a lot of pressure with the medics or with the Marine medic on the field, but we should have Lurker here in time. I think. I think Lurker is going to be out in in good time to deal with this. Nice job, get catching some of these reinforcements, picking off a medic, picking off some of these Marines. The Marine force is very small right now. He's done a very really good control control game uh from sulky so far he hasn't picked off any scvs you can see the scv count is pretty high but the drone count is high we have five hydras on the way hive and evolution chamber coming up here so everything is on track right now for sulky all he needs to do is slow this down just a tad bit more just a tiny little titch of the slowdown here for these marines and he can get these lurkers out in time i think He's going to go ahead and throw it on a sunken colony just in case they manage to make it to the uh, natural here. Picking off a few of these Marines that are being reinforced. And there goes the Lurkers. Lurkers coming down now at 9 minutes 30. Marines pushing across the map. Again, just, just need to slow just a tiny bit of a slowdown here. And he is going to be in a good shape. Looking for opportunities. Looking for an opening here to potentially pick off a couple of marines there you go he gets two lurkers are about to finish here he's gonna have to dive in one more time i think just to slow this down a little bit more there's the lurkers and they burrow and sulky is safe 
Really nicely done here by Soul Key. Going to go ahead and transition into the next stage of this game. So the Muta uh, micro stage of this game has pretty much come to an end here. We're going to have Irradiate in just a moment. Trying to pick off an Overlord here, but Soul Key just so, so good. Keeping all of his Overlords alive. His Micro-Ring Overlords here on the right-hand side have all been kept alive. He's going to dive into the main. I hope that he's uh, preemptively splitting this into different into different groups so that he can pull those out quicker. But it is very micro-intensive to do such things. Here we go. Here comes the first Irradiate. Is he going to have the splitting down pat? No. Okay, that's not too good, man. Pretty rough there. He didn't have a very good um, pre-made split uh, for that first Irradiate. But he's going to come back in once again. Maybe bait out another. There we go. Now he's got it ready. Did you see that? Very well done there. Having the split split ready beforehand. Really, really important for these type of situations. He's going to try and bait one more Irradiate. Not going to get it, though. Sock not going to take the bait. And, yeah, this game is going to go on to the next stages here. Five barracks, two starport. Ooh, I just lost uh, vision of Sock. Going to be setting up <clears throat> some overlords over top of the lurkers here. Let's see how many lurkers we've got in this stack. Just three here. Just three Lurkers over in this position. So not a whole lot of defense, but he's got Lings over top of this. Oh, you think he just got it. Yeah, he was able to get it there. Oh, can he get the connection? One connection does go down, but unfortunately you're going to lose a Lurker here. It's not the end of the world, but it's just he would like to try and block to make it impossible for the Irradiate to come down on that. The less Lurkers you make in this situation, the better, because here you're going to be Getting into your fourth gas really, really quick. And he's going to be getting into Plague. Ultras are going to be coming up here shortly as well. So this is a great position for Soul Key. As long as he doesn't take any damage here. As long as there's not a drop that can come in. Something that can pull him apart right now. Sock is going to try and set up some bases right now. Does he have any dropships on the field? I don't see them. There they are. Okay. <laughs> so... Yeah, he does have drops on the field. He's going to go ahead and dive in to this main base. Looking for a location that's not perfectly protected. But here we go. Sulky. Oh, Sulky not paying attention. Oh, it's so sad. It's so sad. This is such an easy cleanup for Sulky. If only he's paying attention there. The uh, Scourge were in position. Everything was ready for this. But he loses his fourth base already. And uh, yeah, he's going to have to... Push back his plans here of having that fourth gas online a little bit. Great plague. Oh, man. That is a great plague. Really, really good plague. Wow. Look at the Marines just, just disintegrate here. He will be able to go ahead and grab that fourth base now. But, you know, a bit of a slowdown. It's pretty annoying. Going to go ahead and throw down some radiates here. But losing a vessel, never a good thing for the Terran player. Throwing down radiates on Midas. Not the best either here, but it's fine. He's going to open up some space for maybe another drop to come in. He's looking for it. Another base here at the top left. We do not have any uh, tank upgrades or anything like that coming online right now. So I don't think we're going to see a mech transition here. It's just going to be pure Muta or pure Marine. Excuse me. Pure Marine. A lot of Defilers ready to go. Scourge are here as well. He's going to come through the left-hand side. This is going to get shut down super hard. Here we go. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Okay, good. Jeez, that was scary. <laughs> I thought that he wasn't going to be able to stop that. Going after the hatchery here. Going to dive on top with some lings and lurkers. Good target on the lurker, but this will inevitably be cleaned up. And the dropship does manage to escape. Typical. Freaking dropship managed to get out of there. That's ridiculous. Could come in to deal some more damage a little later, but it's pretty risky at this point with just 36 HP. Checking to make sure there's no fifth base right now. Sulky, not that crazy. Sending out Lings on the field, just checking around, and there's the Ultralis Cavern. We have now plus one finished, and plus two is nearing completion. So, I mean, he's going to hit this build pretty darn on the head right now. Sulky is going to have a lot, a lot, a lot of Ultras to pop here. 
with that fourth gas coming online so quickly. Oh, come on. Get the, get the fourth. Get the fourth. We got to get this fourth online a little bit faster here, Sulky. Base in the top left has been denied for now. He's going to try and do a little cheeky push here. Um, I'd much rather see him be taking this fourth gas, though. This is a nice little push. It's going to slow things down for Sock. It's really going to annoy him as well. But I would much rather see him just get this fourth gas. He's just not getting it right now. It's kind of bothering me here. We've got 1,600 minerals and 500 gas. He's going to get on top of the natural, which is actually very nice. And a great plague there as well. Really, really great. He's been uh, bringing up lings here, putting them in a nice position. Get another plague? Get another plague? No. Looks like the Defiler just wouldn't do it. That's unfortunate, but he did a lot of damage here. He's going to pick off quite a few workers. Seven kills on this lurker. Um, he he really slowed down Sock a lot. Finally, he's going to get the fourth gas on the way. That's a bit late, but you know what? There's so much going on in these games. It's really hard to do anything like that. Um, to, to really handle anything. Wow, that killed a lot of Scourge, actually. Kind of crazy. Bunker here going to be set up, but Crackling jumping right on top of that. Looks like he will be able to clear this out. This is actually a big moment here. Sending the Crackling to top left and getting the clear out. Killing the Bunker. Forcing the lift off. Wow, he's just going to tap out. No way. Sock left. Oh, you're kidding me right now. Oh, that's unfortunate. Guys, I got this uh, re replay from Dude Nerd. I thought this was going to progress into a much better game but you know what that's uh that's a little bit rough I, i'm surprised that sock didn't want to play that out surprised indeed that he just did not want to play that out losing the top left hand corner base this is rough but you can stim marines up here and clear this out you can uh lift the command center and you know get all you need is this gas right now and you can start to pump out wow he has 1500 gas let's take a look at the game state at, at the end I feel like from a position like this, yeah, you're going to get into your physics lab. You're going to get your third star port, maybe even a fourth star port once the fourth gas is online and just really start to pump out a huge amount of those battle cruisers. Once the battle cruisers are like fully online, once you got a lot of battle cruisers coming out, then things get really tough for the Zerg player. Even on four bases, it's still uh, difficult, but kind of shocked that he decided to tap out this is actually a great play very very good at slowing down sock here um damn he just didn't get the repair on that bunker i think that kind of tilted him here not able to do anything against the wall that is uh soul key only able to delay this base for a short bit of time and look at this he scans around right before leaving he saw how much was down here in the bottom left, and he just pieced out. I'm, um, I'm a bit surprised at that, guys. Well, leave your comments down below. What do you guys think about this game? Would you like to see more Soul Key? Which players would you like to uh, be featured here on the channel? Let me know, guys. I'm, uh, I'm in need of some ideas. We're doing daily episodes, so we're always looking for new content and new ideas. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.